Today, we are going to elude on the issue more with Professor Faisal uh, Anasir from Bahrain, who is a seasoned uh, family physician, so uh, been involved in training for a long time. Good afternoon, good morning. By the year 2030, it is expected that one in each six people in the world will be age 60 years and above. We know that uh, statistics have shown that around 55 million people in the world have got dementia at the moment, with over 60% of them, unfortunately, are in the low and middle income countries. This number is expected as well to rise. Despite these alarming figures, there are severe shortages of specialists dealing with the elderly people, the ger geriatricians, and those who are specialized in treating the morbidity such as dementia, Alzheimer, and other illnesses that uh, coincide with aging. So there are many reasons and for such shortages. However, it's mainly related, related, I could divide it into two factors. The first factor is related to the students, the medical students, and why they don't prefer to be specialized in such discipline. And the other factor is related to the medical schools. There are false beliefs and ideas among the medical students about certain illnesses that accompany aging process, which is the most important is dementia. Hence, they develop these students the fear and fantasy of dealing with the unknown. Students who lack exposure to geriatric population and those who did not have any positive role models of people engaged with the elderly may lack the interest in going into specialties and study geriatric medicine. Students may not choose to go into special, this specialty because it has low status and low financial reward as they think, especially in the developing countries as well when it is compared to other specialties where it is more rewarding and it has high status. In relation to the nature of the work and because most elderly populations suffer from many chronic illnesses, which is long life and also non-communicable diseases, and also because most of the elderly are non-compliant with the treatment regimen, and also with the advisors, students may feel that this discipline is less attractive to them. Another important reason that because most of the geriatric conditions are too complex, have a blend of physical, psychological, mental, and social elements in it, young doctors usually do not have enough training and skills to deal with such complex problems and also to deal with the ethical dilemma around it with also the unrealistic expectation of the elderly, uh, beloved ones. The other important factor that, as I mentioned, which is related to the medical school by itself. Policymakers in a few and some medical schools do not think that geriatric studies are as important as other discipline. And hence, there is no specific departments in many schools for geriatric care. And most medical schools, at least in this part of the world, do not have a special curriculum related to the elderly health. The discipline itself, the elderly, the geriatric, uh, geriatric medicine, has no entity, so it's not it's lost between various departments. The curriculum, which is being designed for medical students, do not equip these medical students to gain the attitude and skills to deal with the elderly population. There are lack of recruitment of faculty geriatricians, and there is also there is lack of researchers program designed to study various aspects related to the elderly population and their health. 
Most medical schools in the region do not have postgraduate programs specified for geriatric medicine. You can see that all these are factors which hinder the medical students and the fresh graduate from choosing or specializing in geriatric medicine. Thank you.